Hi everybody, I'm Robert, I'm the Sales Manager for Plan4 UK. Welcome aboard and we wish you every success. We've tried to make everything very simple, um, foolproof um, and a simple process for you to follow to make it very easy for you to earn um, unlimited sums of money. If we start with the products in the Google Drive, we've got the Plan4 UK Sales Order Form. This is your sales order form and your information gathering sheet which needs filling in on every visit you go to. As you can see everything highlighted in yellow is what needs to be filled in um, but you know, common sense prevails that if they're not going to pay by a card you don't need to fill that section in. Um, but you can see there are all the personal details they've filled in. If the trading address is different to the registered address of the business you need to put both in. Um, then for example across here the membership level on the directory, a premium one, so you've got one premium directory, £480, total cost £480, it's a one-off, they pay you and they can pay you by card here, no problem, you just put obviously the total £480 in there. If they want to do it on the monthly, it's one premium directory, it's £45 a month, £540 in total, it's made by 12 months, then that goes in with your card or if you want to pay it on direct debit and it says there it's on the last page. Customer signs here, you sign here, date it and you put your initials in there. Right, turn over the page and this is the information that is about them for the directory listing. You can either upgrade them and charge them there or then um, or ideally we want to insist that they have a three month trial on the premium level and then we can go back and second close them because they're going to be so thrilled with the results they want to continue. And this is self-explanatory, the year the business was established, if they have a motto or strap line, hours that they're open, um, and any of these other sections they can fill in if they've got something, language is straightforward. And this is an important section. This is what it will say on the web page about them. So, you know, we are a hotel, five star, we offer ABC, you know, etc., etc. We've got swimming pools, sports facilities, etc. Says everything about the hotel or the business, so that wants to be comprehensive. And down the bottom here, this is just typical payments they take cash, MasterCard, PayPal, etc. Turn the page again, um, and this is your analysis summary survey. And everything on here needs completing because the more boxes that you fill in, is the more potential you have to sell and to earn yourself money. So as you can see, an example of it taken here, fixed line, that's the telephone. So they've got one um, and it tells you um, that there's one, it's with BT, how much it is, and M for monthly, A for annually. Um, and this says that they would like a proposal on it or you're suggesting they have a proposal. Same for broadband, Wi-Fi, all the different things. If there's something that they don't have, put not applicable, but obviously if it interests them or they want some information on it, put a tick in the box there and just fill that sheet out. If there's anything else that they tell you that isn't on there, put it in the notes. And then this is all about the business insurances again. And again, put in what you can, and anything else like there, the guy's interested in private medical, wills and income protection, so we'll give him information on that. And again, on the next page, tick all the boxes again, or put not applicable. As obviously you have a pension scheme, fill it all in and again fill in everything you can because the more information you gather here the more opportunity it gives you um, to get some business out of him. And the final page we have here is the direct debit mandate. If they want to pay us by direct debit or they want a one-off payment to come out of the bank or anything like that, fill in this form and obviously everywhere that's highlighted we need the name of the account holders, their assault code and account number, the branch and postcode of where it is and most importantly of all the signature there. So that is your um, getting information, etc., etc., and that needs doing on every visit. On everything that the customer wants to go live with us or get an appraisal, we need a copy of the bill. This is the important bit of a telephone bill. It tells you all the charges there and all the additional bits they have as an add-on. So that's needed. With all bills we need a copy of every page to be on the safe side. It saves the risk of having to go back. And you can see here's the front page which again just gives us the number and payment information which again helps us do the analysis. But we do want the complete bill. So that's your telephone. Uh, broadband internet is very much the same. Copy of the bill, it tells you there. It tells you their bill amount. Um, important we get that again with the rest of the bill.
Here we have a mobile phone. Again, this is important. It tells you the package they're on, what it's called, how much they're paying. Um, that's the important bit again we need, but we want the whole bill. Um, but they're the pages that we work off for analysis. Right, the paperwork process, as well as those bits of paper that are important, if you're doing a credit card um, form, this is what you need to do. And make sure you've got all the boxes are filled in. And if the customer doesn't know, put not applicable in the field. This can slow down the process, which means it slows down the time that you get paid. So the more you get at the initial meeting, the better. Um, and just so that you know where the known detail bit is just down here, when you see the pound sign there, that's actually the cost per transaction. So example, 15p to do a debit card. And again, you fill in here, ring whichever business it is, limited partnership or sole trader, finish off the website, the email address, um, the trading name, the contact number, um, address postcode, etc. Which of those is relevant? Fill all this in and put your salesperson's name and your number and your comments. Um, that's for your card services. For electricity, you put in the MPAN number, which is called the supply number, which usually has an S byte on the bill. Again, you need to fill in all the details. Um, as we've said before, with gas and electric, generally you only get the points for those. You don't get paid £50 a time because there's very little profit in it. But what we have said is if the profit to the company is more than £100 over the contract, we'll happily give you the £50. We can't be fairer than that. But of course, the points all add up towards your fuel bonus. And just to show you on a typical electric bill, this is the electric number you're looking for, the S number. That's the most important thing to be able to know where the supply is, etc. And with your gas, it's very similar. The difference here is the NPR, which is what tells you where the gas is and in what house. It's called the meter point reference number. Again, everything needs filling out like the electricity. And I'll just show you that on the gas bill, this is your number. So it's self-explanatory. They're all in different places, but that again is the most important thing on a gas bill. This little calculation sheet that you might have already seen that I've sent you is a nice way for you to see how simple it is for you to earn unlimited income. We set it to very realistic one unit a day at the moment. Um, and as you can see, as you go down to the bottom, you can change the units and it, the income grows. The first month is always the leanest because we're waiting for the utilities to kick in. But as it does, it starts to grow and you're soon up to four grand a month. So a real good income, 50 grand a year for a very easy sell. Um, and we'd like to see you earning 100,000 plus. We really don't mind. The more we're paying you, the happier we are. But you've already had that. But only change the figures in the yellow boxes and it will automatically calculate everything for you. But feel free to have a play with that. And then if you go to www.plan4direct.com, this is our online portal, um, which will, sh will sort of um, give you access to, um, we'll put it so that you can, let me just log out here, um, using your own email address and the password as password, if you click on the members login there on the home page, it will then open up this box, you put in your own email address, the word password, it will then take you into an account. I've listed you as a, a premium, which is the top one. You can go in, set yourself an account up, be a, make your company up, um, try everything, see how easy it is to clip and copy images, etc. Um, and off you go. Um, I hope you found this informative. Obviously, if you've got any questions or anything, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're always here to help and we want you to be successful. Um, so don't struggle um, and we welcome you on board and um, look forward to a bright future.